uh, Penny, I think it's gonna have to come through here. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's amazing. My wife and I have always loved cycling and we travel with three bikes, two mountain bikes and a road bike. So uh, we've had our bikes with us since day one. Big part of our lifestyle. We've, we've never really had the perfect bike storage situation though. We started out with putting the bikes in the back of the truck to protect them from the elements. But the problem with that was that uh, they were always so hard to get in and out that we found that we were never using them. So um, I installed a hitch on the front of the truck and then we put a bike rack on the front there and that has definitely been more convenient because the bikes are way more accessible. But then the bikes are sitting in the front view while we're driving the truck and that really is not ideal. The other disadvantage of having, having these bikes on the front is they get smeared with bugs when we're driving on the freeway. That brings us to today. And this is an option that I've wanted to do for a long, long time. A custom weld job. Why the custom weld job and why in Newfoundland? Well, this requires a custom modification in my trailer frame because when Airstream frames were designed back in the 1930s, they weren't designed to accommodate rear end hitch receivers. The receiver is where the bike rack needs to attach, which is the best way to carry cargo with an RV because it optimizes your storage configuration. This is crucial for us. I'm doing this project now while we're in Newfoundland because I found a very friendly weld shop that quoted me a reasonable price. Where do we park this thing? Don't just run inside real quick. Do we have uh -huh. But it's just kind of an inventory of what we carry. Yeah. We built uh, first an arena. This, oh, cool. Uh, uh, a stadium. Uh huh. Hot for hockey. Every wow. piece of steel was wow. built here in corner, right in our oh, shop. Your, your hitch continues inside. Uh huh. So we're going to put our hole yeah. inside. So you lift the lid and put your pin through. Yeah. Pan rails, bike rails, snow buckets. Is this pen. a sled here? That's a sled for carrying steel drill rods. Oh. So you're saying you can handle a bike rack then? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Keep going, it's good so far. Good yeah, he's good at it, yeah. <laughs> good, you can go back a little further. Like, this is pretty good. Uh, what's an Airstream? And I said, well, an Airstream is... <laughs> hey, pup. Hi. That's Hi. Emma. Hi, Emma. And this must make it uh, good on fuel, too, does it? Yeah, it tows yeah, really well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, It doesn't sway yeah. back and forth or any of that. Yeah. Yeah. The crux is, is that the corner is rounded here, yep. you know? Yep. So that was the part that concerned me. Oh, the paint? The paint, paint. yep. Yeah. I happen to have the exact paint. Same gray. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, and that way you can retain that. Right. Uh, but you can put your pin through the receiver. Keep this original bumper. We're in three eighths. Okay, so we're, we'll go with four eighths, yep. So we're parked down there at the uh, front entrance because I wasn't sure how long this was going to take. We're just parked here in case to make sure the retrofit fits tightly. Uh, it's a pretty ideal situation, which is really cool. Uh, let's go inside, shall we? we? We do all our welding on this side. You have to look at the, the arch frame because yeah. it will burn the retina of your eyes. Okay. So we carry all our steel inventory here. We have little bits of everything. Yeah. 
These guys are in here plugging away on the fabrication for the rear bumper. And uh, these guys are really cool. The owner, Wayne, he's letting me walk around and uh, check things out as they're working, as long as you know I'm safe and staying out of the way. But uh, I love this place. It's, it's really fascinating, kind of like a kid in a candy store with all these visuals. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun, but obviously safety first. So it's actually going really smoothly and uh, they're banging this thing out a lot quicker than I expected. I guess they're true professionals. So um, the fabricated piece that is going to slide into the Airstream frame, that is almost finished. And then we're going to try and see if it fits. That right there, Emmer. Oh, this yeah. is my issue, this little piece. Of you see right there where this is bringing up? Mine, mine also. Yours also? Oh, yeah. okay. What do you make of all this, Emma? Don't worry about it. We got it under control. Awesome! Yes! <laughs> okay, well, uh, the project has gone a little over time and uh, we kind of expected that anyway. So um, we're just gonna stay the night in the parking lot and then we'll be here, uh, we'll be ready to resume working on this project in the morning. Need to cut it up a bit more. Uh, the arm. Yeah. 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 Sure it oh, it does. Just a oh yeah, it's just a little low. The yeah, we're gonna. Hey, good morning. So as you can see, we're still parked out front. All is well. We uh, we d we definitely got an early start working on it. There's just been a lot of little tweaks with actually fitting the fabricated piece. They have to uh, keep going back and forth between the shop and then out here. Uh, we sh we'll definitely be getting it done today. However. Um, it's just starting to rain right now uh, a little bit so i think we're probably gonna have to hook the air, airstream up and um, pull it into the shop so that'll be pretty interesting yeah so i was just hitching up here in the back and as i raised the trailer up um that happened and that's a very bad sound never heard that before pretty sure that's the gears inside that uh, are shot <sighs> Yeah, I could have done without this little complication right now. Uh, I have a manual wrench that I can use to, to jack the trailer. A little more. Okay, so because the jack on the Airstream failed, we're gonna use the crane, the uh, overhead crane that they have in here to lower a hook and then we're gonna lift the airstream off the truck with their crane so that's definitely a first pretty cool though uh 
uh, Penny, I think it's gonna have to come through here. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's amazing. Perfect. Definitely coming together. Yeah. That's great. Now it's the moment of truth. Yeah, this is perfect. The clearance there is just right. It's been on my wish list a long time. Well, there yeah. you go. Wish granted. Yes, thank you. No problem. Okay, so uh, the hitch install for the bike rack is officially done and I couldn't be happier with how it all came together. It's like completely seamless and the bike rack is rock solid. And hey, by the way, if you're into these videos, uh, if they're entertaining or if they provide some bit of value to you, um, that's excellent. I'm glad. Please feel free to comment down below. More information can be shared down there and uh, at the very least, just hit the like button. So thanks again for watching. <laughs>